Welcome back everyone to Death Realm Disguises. I'm your host, Wilhelm the Second Level. He's an anti-democrat, did you know? But we already fell Belgium. With German tanks running on westward and some of the infantry turning southward to take Liege from the rear, the Belgians made a general retreat to Antwerp and Namur, or Dow Line, to have better defensive advantage. Some days after the Belgian retreat, four German divisions were turned to a full out front on the Dow Line, but before the attack had commenced, the Belgian high command ordered a full retreat to Brussels. German infantry entered the capital three days later, and the Belgians surrendered to their country. Sieg! And as the tanks are rolling in. Now, hopefully, we can do well and catch it by surprise, but you never know. Especially with some of these uh, other divisions here currently, which is not ideal for us, but whatever. Um, we do want to make an encirclement if at all possible, but I don't think it is right now possible. And that's okay. Uh, it's 1941, of course. We are running out of fuel, but you know, actually, you know what? We are we're okay on fuel. Oh, wait, what? No. I'll give them until October to fix their license issue. Hey, cut them off, yes, please. We could just ram our lines into them, but probably that would not be for the best. Ah, Japan's been at war. Very nice, very nice. Long range escorts, of course. Our tactical and strategic bombers require long range escorts to provide protection all the way to the target area and back. Rocketry. Rocket propulsion holds the key to massive innovations in all three areas of the military branches. I uh, wish uh, we could force the attack, but we cannot. Uh, attacking the line would, of course, still be a uh, scooey, scooey, scooey skied. Uh, these guys have stopped attacking nearly as much, and they are exhausted. Here we are currently uh, with casualties. There are almost three million. We've lost about a third of a million. Um, so we'll see what happens. Oh, the German Empire parades to Paris. After more than 20 years, the Germans managed to achieve their ambition. They, de they defeated France once more, and paraded all the way through Paris. Thousands of German soldiers now in the heart of the Third French Republic, a shattered country. The parade started by a contingent of approximately 10,000 troops marching down the Champ uh, champs and occupied the Palais de la Concorde. I, I don't speak French, I apologize. They were followed by additional troops later who paraded down the champs Elysees with artillery pieces, trucks, and tanks, and some men were even wearing old Prussian helmets, the Pickelhalbe. Sieg. Sehr gut. As now they're going to be bringing quite a vengeance against us. So, what else is new? Um, in the meantime, attacking here would be suicide, like I said. But we kind of need it. We're running out of divisions around here. Uh, how much more until these guys actually capitulate? My goal was to actually try to capitulate them. Oh, they're only halfway. Oh, that's not good. Um, we could su suicide our guys in, but, you know. Would that be the best? It'd be fun. Could these tanks actually take out these guys, maybe? They have air support, probably. Well, they're doing alright still. Doing this would be probably pretty bad. Oh, I didn't even give oh my god, I didn't even give them orders. Try it. Maintenance companies. We could try 1941, of course. Uh better field hospitals would be ideal as well. Uh the tension going on, doing their stuff. They already have maintenance, which is good, good, good. We need to upgrade them. We are making some medium tanks too. Um so this is just here to keep pressure on them and keep a lot of pressure on them, just period. So over here, they're still attacking like crazy, so I'm not super worried about this. They're just going to go nuts against us. Um, this is just to drain them. This is draining ourselves too, but still. Like it, we got to do something here. Or we're just going to end up all dying here. Which could also very much happen. Um, so, it does suck, but whatever. Because I know our guys are very exhausted at this point. So taking everyone out like that. Hold, hold, hold. Um, yeah, we just don't have enough divisions on the line here. They did, they're doing a little better here now. And they're running out of supplies, but so are we. It does suck. We'll need more of this, we'll need more of this, and we'll probably need more of that and that. Construction? Nice. Construction. If we can finish these guys off, that would be phenomenal. In the meantime, I want you guys to come down here too. They come, boys, they need to die. I stop attacking for now. Oh my god. Alright, so the tanks are getting a bit suicidal here. But the German Panzers, what do you expect? Yes. Very good, very good. Oh, look at these divisions are gonna die! Yes! Beautiful! Oh, look at that. Our fleet is over here and trying to sink the French fleet. Nice. You might as well sink as much as you possibly can right now. Ooh, shot down by the Beach Boy. Devastating lost for us all. Yeah. Oh, they have. Not quite destroyed a division yet, but you're gonna force it to defense. Some of these guys are very suicidal. My god, how much more do we need to capitulate France? France is very strong in def defense right now. This is getting becoming really stupid, so we'll sacrifice a tank, few tank divisions here and there. Um, unfortunately, probably. But the French should capitulate very soon. It was quite a risky gamble to do this. Over here, 
They're still looking pretty thick, even though I am slowly making more divisions, uh, make 40 comb width. So, we're done doing that. We'll get some, through some comments as well, hopefully soon as well. Close that out, close that out. Rocketry, of course, synthetic rubber. Large-scale motorization aviation requires large amounts of rubber. Oh, which we know own oh, sources. We must improve the way it synthetically. Westwall. Westwall runs parallel to France's volunteer imaginal line, occupying much of the same ground as the Siegfried line did during the previous Valkyrie. Fortifying his defenses to allow us to hold the border with a few men, freeing up divisions to participate in the potential eastern campaigns and bypass Maginot in the south. The British have their interest in the slow countries, and so we must seek alternative routes to the Maginot. The south, though mountains and difficult to traverse, must suffice. German ingenuity will see us through. And eventually, hopefully, we can do this one. Reinstate our imperial possessions. The successful reconquest of historical German areas, we can now begin the process of reinstating them into Deutsches Kaiserreich as fully fledged provinces. The last disgrace of Versailles is done, undone. Serbia seeks a queen. The Karadorevich of Serbia seek to continue the existence of both their royal line and their nation through a royal wedding. It seems that Pietro II has become quite infatuated with Princess Alexandrine, a royal of the Hohenzollern family, and has asked for hand in marriage. She the young lady accepts Serbia and thus Deutsches Kaiserreich shall be joined together in blood, although this will not mean there is only joint Serbian Deutsch alliance. It pushed such things to become possible in the immediate future. Never married Peter II? Somebody? Um... For now, we'll, we'll, go, we'll go okay with that. We're still fighting all of these guys. Um, France is now gone, which is nice and all. Um, but we're still struggling over here, and as you can tell, the Soviets invaded. Um, luckily, though, we did we were able to beat up uh, the French handily for now, uh, before this got too bad. But it is 1942, of course. We're having a good old time with everyone and stuff like that. Um, so, a victory all Deutsches Kaiserreich will remember. But we should do okay. Uh, we're going to do an expanded dockyard facilities. I can't remember where this one. There might have been a day or two since between this part of the episode and the earlier part, so. The truly rebuild and navy worthy of no, we must greatly expand ship or the shipbuilding capacity or capabilities. Wundervaffle. Heisenberg and Von Braun are chomping to the bed, explore certain ideas they have for certain, certain true doomsday weapons. All they need is a little few extra resources. That's all we need. Yeah, just a few extra resources. A resource or two. Cool. And the Soviets are still trying to beat us up. Um, it's gonna take a while to get them, get rid of them, but you know, whatever. Uh, in the meantime, I wonder, can I take out Switzerland? Actually, let's take a look. See, we're not justifying anybody, are we? Uh, no, we are not. Expand Dickard facilities. Um, Wunderwaffe, German war economy. I guess we could do this one next. Bypass Maginot in the south, like we read earlier. Get a war goal against um, the Dutch. Uh, Dutch. We are the Dutch. The Deutsch. No, no, we no, we're not the Dutch. We're the Germans. What are we talking about? Oh my goodness, I can't think anymore. Amazon, oh yes, definitely get that one. Yeah, we're almost done with all stuff too. I don't want to send spies in here because it's not very good because they will get found out and like, killed very quickly. In the meantime, we're just going to be building up a lot more military factories because to really take out the Soviets, we are definitely, definitely, definitely going to need more planes. So, um, planes are going to be a high priority right now. That's so where we're at 50 here, we're lacking a lot. We need to make more military factories and whatnot, but we need more fuel too. So I was just going to take a little bit of time before I can actually do all that stuff. Um, how about Austria? I don't know, maybe we'll take out Austria. Just because we can. Ex expand the factories, stuff like that. Support the Finns. We'll see. A 20 day focus is not bad, though. Support the Finns. The Finns found themselves in the firing line of the uh, Soviets. We'll offer them a guarantee against the Kamen and give them some modest industrial aid. Because, uh, why not? Um, that's not bad. I'll do a lot of them ships, all sorts of capital. Wait, why, why did I do that one? Um, we can get that one next. Yeah, the apartment would be very good. And if they ever end go to war with us, or I mean, they invade, invade us, we should be okay. Uh, yeah. There's not a lot of good areas just to attack from, you know. Oh, we're doing okay there, though. Because the Soviets right now, they are lacking. They got plenty of manpower, but I think they're out of guns. Yeah, they're out of guns. If we were to push, we actually honestly might be able to. I don't know, air, air, air wise, we're not looking great. So, I kind of doubt it'll go very well. Adaptable, yes, please. Uh, last couple of planes here, it's fine. Can we actually push it all? Maybe? Depending where we're at. So, yeah, that's a definite maybe. Interesting, I really care about no, not really. And support the fence. Oh, reset imperial processions. If I want to do this, if you want to do this again, please go ahead. Nice. Let them attack us first, maybe. Yep, they're gonna attack us first, which is fine with us. Serbia wants us to join their faction. Now nah, I'm okay. Let's see what we can do about this. 
We're doing alright so far. Let them attack us like crazy. And we're going to go in now. Let them weaken themselves a whole bunch. And then we'll take them out like that. I was going to have a couple of black tea here because... Oh, we're going to bug about Burma. Oh, well, whatever. Uh, here. There you go. Nice. Hello. Well, that sucks. It's going to sound an American sub, though. That's good. A lot of uh, subbies. Oh, you know what I should have done? Good. Yes. Help up route as much entrenchment as possible. But please, I think even though I should have like, gotten some uh, railway guns, but we don't have any of those right now. I've not used those in quite a while at the time of this recording, so. Wow, we're doing definitely okay ish against Soviets. Oh, those are Swiss. Um, I'm going to have you guys commit to the bit here. And do something like this. I'm going to keep these this stack over here, though. Because I don't trust that the AI is not going to naval invade us. Oh. For now. That's fine. He's heading back over there, which is pretty nice. Um, anything else? Burma's gonna go to me, no. Ooh, the Corlin Pocket! Kinda reverse right now, though. Improved anti-air. Of course, as we expand and take more territory, we will need to put more suppression down. Uh, we will need more support equipment, we will need more guns, but we're looking pretty good on all that stuff. We definitely need more armored cars, though. Keep following on the Kaiser's hands. Oh, look at that. Oh, uh, we're the armored cars first. Kiev has been uh, uh, has been captured by the advancing German armies in Russia. The capture of one of the most important cities is a serious blow to the Russians, but the question still remains whether the Germans can keep up the momentum. Moments after the Germans had occupied the city, thousands of mines planted by the remnants of the Russian army were apparently detonated in buildings along the Kreshkatyak main street, causing even more damage to the already ruined city. Now the invading forces look east. Another victory for the Kaiser Reich. Help out. We're all about blitz in here. So this would be nice, small cast airframe design costs. I mean, that's okay. Um, air accents is not bad. Air doc land doctor cost. Research speed advisor cost. Go with that one. And then to continue strike air support mission efficiency plus twenty five percent is always going to get more air support. Air mission efficiency ten percent and fighter detection is not bad too. Oh, that one. Why not? Good I don't know. Ah, build more, eh? Yes, please. Also took out uh, Alsace Lorraine, of course, Luxembourg, you know, all the good stuff. Um, we only buy, built some more supply up here, too, but still. Beautiful. Circle and destroy. So, losses. Not bad. So, you need four and a half million in total. Of course, the Japanese have taken them out just a wee bit, too. It wasn't completely us, but we're doing pretty decently, I'd say. We want to go to service by requirement, but let's see when we get there. Uh, do they die yet? No, they're still struggling. We're still struggling against them. Huh? It's all because of air superiority. No, we have air superiority too. Look at that. All right. They have been pushing through Ukraine pretty easily. If we could get these guys destroyed, that'd be great. Hey, look at that. Oh, oh, you know what? We still got an instrument off anyways. Alright. Uh, Hungary demands Slovakia. Hungarian government is approached about the future status of Slovakia. They strongly believe that they should full control of the state of Slovakia. So, you know, Slovakia would be part of Hungary during the days of the empire. They're fascists, though. Do they want to create... Oh, we can create a faction. Um, while the Hungarian delegation shared away from issuing an explicit threat, intelligence services for an unsettling amount of activity to the Hungarian military. Will it go to war with us for that? Fall of Minsk. Minsk is the nearest, nearest big city of the Russians to our borders has been just captured by advancing armies into the Russian soil. The resistance was little because it was almost a surprise attack. Our generals had planned brilliant plans for this great campaign. As I could do in 1918, the Russians will be defeated once again. The first of many victories to come, hopefully. 42, not bad.
Macedonia, Macedonia, McDonald. Nice. Some of these divisions are nice and thick. Scavenger, the last self capture. During the most uh, recent campaign, uh, or enemy re retreat, a high ranking Soviet general has been captured by our, uh, our forces in custody right now. Uh, this is General Andrei Vlasov. Was well, professors anti Bolshevism and now proposes to raise some of the more divisions of captured Russians fight alongside against Stalinism. An ally against him? Mm, now nah, we're good. We are spreading through like cancer. Good God, I love it. The fall of Sevastopol. We gotta get that oil. The heavily fortified city of Sevastopol, the base of the Soviet Black Sea Fleet, is finally succumbed to the German attacks. Let's loss will severely hamper any Soviet uh, attempt to contest the Black Sea, and the fall of the city is regarded as a significant German victory, as it should. An edict has been issued uh, from Berlin, saying the city shall henceforth be known as Theodoric, uh, Theodoric Hafton. Well, after Theod Theodoric the Great. Theodoric Hafton. My bad for my mispronunciations. There's some comms going through here. Uh, so it says, Bob, well, Mocha, your German pronunciation is good. Um, oh, yeah. Someone says, there's only one empire about to in this game, and it's called the HRE. Someone says, Mocha pronouncing German correctly? I can't be. For real, though, your pronunciation was really good this time. Well, I already probably messed it up. Honestly, do I want to even do that one? I would just kill them off first. Yeah, probably just kill them off first. Voyage Vadina is gone, which is fine with us. Um, they put in the Waffle. Ah, German war economy. Our, nations, our great nation's people must be harnessed for the good of war effort. We'll transition to a full war economy where every man is expected to pay lay their part. Ah, Dora. I love Dora. She explores a lot. And by explore, I mean she means explode. Oh, gets going. Go ahead and go on. So I'm getting circled. There you go. Circle them. Uh, they can't pierce all of it in this division. Actually, light tank wise, we're okay. Medium tanks, we need more of those. Nice. At this point, I think Moscow is pretty much done. Maybe four divisions, over 5 million losses. Doing very well. Overall, cannons are very nice to have. Uh, go and get small, small airframes too. Kosovo's gone. We're gonna need that eventually too. We build up as many roads as possible for now too. Slovenia's gone. Yugoslavia's just killing itself like crazy. It's got promoted. All of lot of stock. Oh, well, there you go. Ah, the fall of Leningrad. Leningrad, birthplace of the Russian Revolution, has fallen to advancing German forces. Spread like pie, it could still be served from some suburbs, but a strange column appears to have settled the rest of the ruined city. Earlier today, of course. Um, the column of German soldiers marched past St. Isaac's Cathedral, whose great dome has been paled, painted gray by the Red Army engineers to avoid the attention of marauding the fob of bombers. Uh, ooh, that's my... Uh, despite their efforts, it's riddled with bullet holes and shrapnel impacts. Another victory for the Vaterland. Bismarck, in an effort to prove the public relations towards or opinion towards the war, our propaganda minister selected the exceptional cinema production Bismarck, a sublime viewing experience with a strong patriotic sentiment for screening across the country. Well, this heralds the beginning of a long and toward tradition for our patriotic film industry, the results have so far been excellent. A masterpiece, yes. Very good. Well, Moscow, I dawned today. German panzers smashed through the hastily erected barriers in the streets of Moscow and half tracks were seen unloading panzer gun ideas on the Red Square. Thick billow of smoke from many of the fires raging in the suburbs could be ri seen rising into the air as German infantry stormed the Kremlin. The grenades and flamethrowers are reportedly needed to fight some stubborn NKVD holdouts intent on defending every inch of the complex. The Russian capital is now in German hands, but has been left a burning ruin. Unconfirmed reports indicate Lenin's and Balm courts were safely evacuated east. At last, Moscow is ours. I want to stop the, uh, the assault right now. I want to give us a little more planning. Hold for now. You guys hold as well. I want these guys to get down here. Well, Stalingrad, advancing German 
spirits of seized Stalingrad, Stalin's name succeeded in the banks of the Volga. After fighting their way through the ruined city of uh, Stalin's tractor factory, uh, after seizing oh crap, bro, um, and seizing the strategically vital Man Mamayev Kurgan Heights, the Germans have forced the last Soviet defenders across the Volga to its eastern shore. According to the unconfirmed reports, holdouts from the Red Army fighting together with the partisans that were treated in the sewers and basements to continue their struggles. No significant organized resistance is believed to remain, however, however, which is good. This time. Covenant of the Mediterranean. The question is Serbia. We now saw hands in Europe. France was along the foundation of stability in southeastern Europe, of course. Now the entire area is up for grabs. We can pull all the nations, of course, uh, and they're in our orbit. But with no one else to stop us, of course. Uh, this is going to be very painstakingly god awful. If anything, I'm going to actually probably push you guys up here. Uh, it's time to tell the Yugoslavians that they have to make a choice. Either they stand with us or they'll be swept away. Push the strength thin. Let's go! Let's see what we can do around here. Wunderwaffe. We'll get some supply through here very soon, though. They're still attacking us. We're still attacking them. I just don't think they can do very much against us at all. This is exactly what, how we want it. Too bad we have to wait to go to war with Austria again, too, though. Ah, next Finland now. Look at that. Ah, it's looking nice. West Wall. The West Wall runs parallel to France's bond and Maginot Line, occupying much of the same ground Siegfried Line did in the previous Valkyrie. Fortifying its defense will allow us to hold the border with a few remaining freedom of division to participate in any potential Eastern campaigns. Well, I guess. Supply is running kind of short around these few parts. If I can get, get there, we can just snipe that off. Oh, Baku's the capital, actually, huh? There we go. So now these, everyone else is cut off from the, from there. It's absolutely ideal. We need a lot of armored cars, too. Yeah, look at this. Now they're slowly sneaking down. Da da. Someone else says in the comments saying, please dismantle France and Russia in smaller pieces. Someone says, love me the monarchist route. Someone says, can you, you know, can you play as the Iberian Federation as Torcuato Fernandez Miranda? Yeah, probably eventually, yeah. I know nothing about this character, but sure. Been that aluminum plant? Well, we'll see. Getting heavy water production? Oh. Not very historical. Then again, I guess we're not historical right now at all. I think it's Monarchus Germany. Not super historical. Got enough, more than enough guns. Still need actually mighty some artillery pieces, too. We'll see. Come on, bro, so we need Baku. We need that oil. 
I'm not sure we don't. Beautiful. Well, Baku, earlier today, during Ford's success to occupy the city of Baku, a vital strategic objective in the war against the Soviet Union. Look at the shores of the Caspian Sea, the city, the city is key to the Caucasus. And as many oil reserves should have been for the German war effort. This capture puts Germany in a position to expand the war in the Middle East and possibly even India. And the victory for the Vatoland. Managed subjects, huh? Oh, we can axe them too. That's kind of cool. They got a little thick, though. Oh, oh, we got the Severin too, huh? Long Yun, huh? Nice. Pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, we're gonna huh? Wow. Nice. The so losses for us include. Almost a million, wow. Quite a bit. Um, we could annex them. I kind of like them how they're at right now. But if we do annex them, not our exclusive fleet. If we do get extra trade from them, too. We actually build up in there, too. Um, about the figurehead. They do like us quite a bit. Uh, how much further the focus can they do, actually, before we do anything else? Uh, Battleship Cruiser Plan. Not bad. Looks like they pretty much maximize everything they can, so there's no point for them to exist now. Look at that. It's not bad. I don't know. So here, now that we did that, I don't mind forming the Kungas right of the Netherlands of the Vahamina. They are our brothers. Uh, they must be part of the Empire under the Kazakh loyal friend of Vahamina. So I don't mind do adding them now, now that we've gone ahead and like, like basically integrated them because they were our puppet. So I feel okay about annexing them at this point. Oh my god, how much more of this? Oh, 96% of the way there. That sucks. Polish Romanian What? Polish Romanian Alliance. Uh Okay then. Now you're presenting the way there? Not bad. West Wall. Ostwald. Spider gains the instruments to ensure that the tide turns that we can hold out the enemy advance. We should build a line of fortifications of the Walter Voltan Stellung along the Nipper River from the Black Sea to the Baltic. Ah, oh, they're finally dead. Thank God. Um, please don't tell me. Okay, so. Chi oh my God. We have to go China off now, too? Bro. Stand in the tanks. Let's get down there. Oh, they're going to die like. Oh my God. 
Big old faction down there. Uh, I don't send all you guys down there. I'll send you guys out. Jai B Shama. Yep, keep taking them out for now. There you go. Oh wow. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Oh, we're out of manpower too. Oh crap. Oh, that's pretty bad. It's not terrible. Whatever. How many armor cards do we not have? 1700, wow. Well, I guess we'll be able to integrate the Netherlands for quite a while, since we're ER and not going to be at peace for quite a while. So we'll definitely need a description level. We'll go to war with Austria. I'll hope we can integrate them too, but we'll see. Uh, yeah. I wish you make decisions as to just go and kill them off. Also, Atlantic Wall. Now that we've conquered Western Europe, we must entrench ourselves against the possible onslaught from across the Ocean Atlantic. Ocean Atlantic. Atlantic Ocean. A huge network of fortifications along the shores of Europe should provide us with protection. Yeah. Let's support the Finns too. We'll take out the Austrians. They need to, they need to go. We're already on total mobilization, which is actually hurting us a little bit, but maybe. Um, we're all good with that stuff. Operative slots are okay. Give the operatives. Help put down resistance. Any event here, though? Nice small airframes and ah, naval vessels. It's not bad. It's pretty good overall. Deep wall. Very nice, very nice. And extensive, here we go. Very, very nice. Atlantic wall. What are the fencings once we go to war with them, too? But in the meantime, we'll probably just go and do resist suppression. That helped us out quite a bit. And two of us gone. Very nice. Very, very nice. So we are mobilizing more and more manpower, which is good. Can't believe we need freaking China just to capitulate them. Like, bro. Should be able to pretty easy to take him out. Ah, oh, they're doing the counter, huh? Yep, oh well. Way more armor cars just don't need. Hey, there goes Austria, nice. Can we just like integrate them? It'd be really nice if we could. Hungary? Oh, no, I guess we're uh, Finland, I guess. We did say we were going to take out the Finns. But this takes so long to justify, man. 
Yeah, don't do that. That's kind of a waste of resources. But a mile is gone. I'll do that as well. We bet we got for war against Finland. And coming in the Mediterranean, field hospitals. Oh, hello. Couple ships here and there. Hey, not bad. Couple destroyers. And a heavy cruiser too, pretty nice. The map we just got back too. Nice. Oh, there, oh, Spain wanted to do that too, huh? Cool. Hey, yeah, there goes Mongolia. Good. Very, very nice. But I think I might just end the episode here. We'll go finish these guys off. We'll go to war with Finland. And, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and go from there. Because I do want to capitulate China as well. But that's going to take a while. And that's going to take, yeah, quite a while to do this. So. I might also install a mod that allows us to, to go to war with people faster. Because this is, my God, taking so freaking long to get to. So, if you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Like normal. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow. As we'll have more fun as the Marcus Germans and the Deutsches Kaiserreich. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.